नमस्कार दोस्तों हर संडे की तरह आज भी आपके साथ जुड़ चुका हूँ मैं कुछ ना कुछ देने की कोशिश हमेशा आपको करता हूँ वो वजह ये है कि अर्बन कॉपरेटिव बैंकिंग सेक्टर अच्छा रहे अच्छा चले फॉर द पास्ट टू संडेज आई हैव इन टॉकिंग मेकिंग शॉर्ट वीडियोस बिकॉज आई बिलीव दैट पीपल डू नॉट हैव टाइम टू रियली वॉच थर्टी मिनट और फोर्टी फाइव मिनट वीडियो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दी मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी विच वॉज डिक्लेयर्ड a few days ago probably that was 30th of september and uh, this monetary policy normally the uh, urban cooperative bank- bankers uh, when they read it they find it that there is nothing for them uh, but i would like to bring back the uh, memories where uh, a few days ago uh, the uh, minister of cooperation new delhi said that he would like to bring the um, entire urban cooperative banking sector Uh, on par with commercial banks in terms of regulation and you remember that even the expert committee was talking about the graded regulation and that graded regulation has come here to stay now i am going to uh, share with you uh, the two paragraphs of the monetary policy committee which uh, have a significant impact on urban cooperative banks i'll read out the first paragraph because that first paragraph will tell you uh, uh, how how it is important and uh, significant for us <coughs> the uh, policy statement made by the governor governor had had a had a paragraph i'll just read out that paragraph and then we'll discuss as to what this paragraph impacts the urban cooperative banking sector Uh, the discussion paper on expected loss el based approach for loan loss provisioning by banks uh, banks currently follow the incurred loss approach for provisioning on their loan assets whereby provisions on loan assets are made after the stress has materialized a more prudent and forward looking approach is the expected loss based approach which requires banks to make provisions based on an assessment of probable loss uh as a as a step uh, forward converging with the globally accepted prudential norms we will issue a discussion paper on the proposed transition for shareholder comments this was a paragraph uttered by shaktikanta das in in the monetary policy statement this speech he subsequently gives now what is the significance of this significance of this is that the nps in the banking industry have reduced substantially and uh, as of march 22 the gross nps of the industry were somewhere in the range of 5.9% and the net nps were in the range of 1.7% uh, so less than 2% and less than 6% was the number the most importantly uh, which we as urban cooperative banker must remember is that these banks have a provision coverage ratio of almost 87% what it would mean to put it differently almost 87% of non performing assets have been provided for is the story of uh, the public sector banks what is the story of urban cooperative banks they are in the range of 45 to 46% it would mean that if if the uh, reserve bank of india introduces the <coughs> expected loss theorem which they want to do it would mean also mean that the urban cooperative banks would required to make higher provisioning or more provisioning this has not come there is simply a discussion paper now currently under the consideration once the discussion paper will come we will get to know what is required to be done and what is not required to be done fair enough to say that the uh, uh, npa recognition norms that is irac norms would undergo change with further severity as it is the uh, disclosure norms have made uh, the strict uh, conditions or strict situation for us uh, the urban cooperative bankers apart from that it is extremely important that we urban cooperative bankers must learn to understand the interpretation of this particular paragraph and what is likely to come expected credit loss is a methodology for higher pr- provisioning and high, more prudential banking this is going to be more prudential for the simple reason virtually you will be going to provide for 
the entire uh, NP is in a different way. As, as I imagine, you must be remembering the uh, loss given default concept which was coined uh, by Basel committee in 1991-92. Thereafter, uh, it has not touched the uh, balance sheets of the urban cooperative banks. But in between, uh, somewhere in the 80s, the concept of uh, uh, international financial reporting standards were introduced. And these international financial uh, uh, reporting standards were uh, accepted almost by 130 countries except USA and few European countries. Because in still in USA you will find that uh, you have gap, generally accepted accounting principles is the concept on which the uh, United States of America does the accounting. In India we have Indian accounting standards. The beautiful thing is that the Institute of Chartered Accountant has already imported couple of IFRS uh, logics into the revised accounting standards which have been issued by them. The story does not stop here. A couple of years ago, Reserve Bank of India wanted the IFRS to be adopted by any entity which is having uh, or a corporate entity which is having equity more than 500 crores that is yet to stabilize yet to come but through backdoor already the IFRS concept has entered via the accounting standards which have now been revised substantially continuously they are being revised with this logic <coughs> the difference between Indian accounting standards currently available and the IFRS once it comes what is going to happen I will give you a very simple example which will enable you to understand how the way we do accounting is likely to change you remember the master circular investments for banks which uh, for uh, the provisions as to how to make mark to market losses there is a caveat <coughs> in that particular circle what that caveat says it says generally is that depreciation has to be provided and appreciation has to be ignored no clubbing is allowed now if you remember this fundamental concept Remember, IFRS is not historical accounting. IFRS is then and there itself, accounting for then and there itself. Possibly, you will be able to book appreciation and you will not be able to club them. All those things are likely to come in a discussion paper that is likely to come from the Reserve Bank of India. Once it comes from the Reserve Bank of India, the discussion paper will throw further lights on the way we are doing the accounting. The significant part which I find is that the banking industry is ready to move towards expected loss methods. What will be that method? Probably it will be subjective, probably it will have a lot of interpretational issues. I don't know. It will depend upon the kind of discussion paper that will be issued by Reserve Bank of India. I am sharing this simply because you must be willing to understand what is coming before you. Now this paragraph is going to impact the urban corporate banks in a seriously different way. आप लोग क्या करते हो आप लोग एनपीओ होने के बाद प्रोविजन करते हो स्टैंडर्ड स्टैंडर्ड अकाउंट अगर एनपीओ होता है तो 10% है माइंड यू यू ऑलरेडी हैव अ लीवरेज फॉर एग्जांपल द कमर्शियल बैंक्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक अ प्रोविजन ऑफ 15% इफ द अकाउंट बिकम्स एनपीओ इन द फर्स्ट ईयर वी आर डूइंग 10% एंड देन देयर आर ग्रेड्स रिजर्व बैंक ये कह रही है कि ये जो आप कर रहे हो ना ये आपका लॉस इनकर होने के बाद आप कर रहे हो यू आर डूइंग दिस प्रोविजन आफ्टर इनकरिंग द लॉसेस now they would like to migrate to a methodology where expected credit loss based provisioning. अब इसके मायने बहुत सारे निकलते हैं। Theoretically अगर हम इसको समझते हैं कि आपने account दे दिया और आपको लगता है कि ये account पैसा आने ही नहीं वाला, you feel that you are not going to get back the money. Probably you will have to make provision. You will not pass through the transition phases. That is the substandard for two years and then D1, D2, D3, D4 and then loss asset. Probably these steps would be eliminated. I am just giving you the imaginary idea for the simple reason. This paragraph is going to hit the balance sheets of urban cooperative banks very severely. And if that severe hitting, if we are not prepared, we will be going down. And therefore, it is necessary for me when I look at the balance sheets of Reserve Bank of uh, balance sheets of urban cooperative banks, I uh, <coughs> virtually find in every balance sheet. What I find is that, oh, technology fund me kuch paise rakhenge, uh, IFR or IDR me zaroor se jada paise rakhenge. 
बिल्डिंग फंड में पैसे रखेंगे इसका कोई मतलब नहीं आता है क्यों मतलब नहीं आता है पिछले साल सितंबर अक्टूबर में एक वो डिस्क्लोजर एंड फाइनेंशियल प्रेजेंटेशन के बारे में एक सर्कुलर आया था आप जो इस रिजर्व से उस रिजर्व में डालते थे पैसा वो नहीं होगा उसको प्रायर अप्रूवल ऑफ रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया लगेगा ये करते वक्त हम लोग जो प्रोविजन कवरेज रेशियो है ना वो रिक्वायर्ड प्रोविजन तक ही रखते थे इसका मतलब ये है कि जो आप प्रोविजन का स्टेटमेंट रिजर्व बैंक को देते हैं उसमें प्रोविजन रिक्वायर्ड एंड प्रोविजन मेड ये जो आप कहते हो तो आप जो प्रोविजन रिक्वायर्ड है प्रोविजन मेड अगर आप एक्सेस प्रोविजन करते हो तो वो करना चालू करो प्रोविजन कवरेज रेशो इम्प्रूव करो अगर आप प्रोविजन कवरेज रेशो इम्प्रूव करोगे तो पॉसिबली दी पी सी आर विल गो अप सब्सटेंशियली वंस दी प्रोविजन कवरेज रेशो गोज अप बिकॉज रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया फील्स दैट द एवरेज कैपिटल एडिकोसी रेशो ऑफ द पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक इज 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 इन द रेंज ऑफ सिक्सटीन परसेंट एंड वन एंड वन सेट इज इन द रेंज ऑफ सिक्सटीन परसेंट इज हाईली अप्रिशिएबल सिचुएशन दैट प्रिवेल्स इन द कंट्री द बैंक विच आर हैविंग सच ए हायर सी आर एयर इन देयर बैलेंस शीट ऑब्वियसली इट वुड मीन दैट द बैंकिंग इंडस्ट्री इज नाउ वेलिंग टू एब्जॉर्ब द न्यू मेथड ऑफ प्रोविजनिंग दैट इज एक्सपेक्टेड लॉस मेथड your crr has gone up your average crr is over 15% these two things would these two things would ensure that uh, the banking industry is ready we are a part of banking industry whether are we ready are we ready for this transition which may come today tomorrow two months three months i don't know i don't know but then our willingness has to be there and there is one more part of which reserve bank of india has introduced and that that paragraph i i i believe is a, a very critical one i i'll read that also uh, uh, that paragraph is very critical it says about the discussion paper on the securitization of stressed assets framework reserve bank ye keh rahi hai ki stressed assets jo hain sme 0 sme 1 sme 2 उनको बेचने के लिए वो डिस्कशन पेपर ला रहे हैं वजह यह है कि स्टैंडर्ड एसेट के लिए उन्होंने बोल दिया है ऑलरेडी गाइडलाइंस दिए हैं स्ट्रेस्ट एसेट के लिए वो डिस्कशन पेपर ला रहे हैं जिसकी बदौलत बिकॉज ऑफ व्हिच यू विल बी एबल टू शेड ऑफ टेपर ऑफ द स्ट्रेस्ट एसेट फ्रॉम यूर बुक्स ऑल दो फॉर अर्बन कॉपरेटिव बैंक वी आर स्टिल फाइटिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ the clause 77 of arc guidelines which has come to us and which is virtually killing us in june on june 20th the bank of india gave a relief that you make a provision on the for 5 years for the srs where the uh, losses are more than that the controversy continues uh, to be dealt in. in in fact nafca has has recently made a representation to reserve bank of india to reconsider this I do not know whether Reserve Bank of India reconsider the, will reconsider this. I find that these changes would be landing on your lap straight away without giving you much time on thinking. So think. As far as Urban Cooperative Bank is concerned, it is important that you improve your PCR to handle the changes which are coming up for you. If you handle this, if you preemptively handle this. the simple thing a simple thing to do is that go on for improving the provision coverage ratio the moment you do that you are in a position to face the vagaries that would come where the guidelines which are issued to the commercial banks are equally made applicable to the corporate banks i always try to give you something which is new i always try to force you to think the idea is to forewarn is forearmed If you like my videos or if you like what I try to discuss with you please do subscribe and please do share thank you thank you for watching me thank you so much